Well, so we are here to have a conversation <laughs> with Fancy Gadam. And uh, Mamavi promises to be exciting, doesn't it? Because yeah. uh, Fancy is already at the background and we're waiting. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's a man that I interacted with, I think it was back in 2017 already. Uh, you know, when he won big at the Ghana Music Awards, uh, but he's gone on to win some other awards. We're checking up uh, with him and finding out what's happening, particularly around this time. So, Fancy, good morning to you. How do you say good morning in, in, in Hausa? In Hausa, you say Colafia. Colafia. No, do you Colafia, say that is, that, that is in Hausa, but if you want to say... In Dagbani is Dasiba. No, say that again. Dasiba. Dasiba. Yeah. Okay. Dasiba. So Dasiba, das, das, how are you yeah. going to respond? Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Charlie, what's up, what's up with you? What, how has it been? Yes, everything, everything cool, everything cool, everything is okay. There's, there's the, the virus has spread everything, you know. Mm. But Alhamdulillah, we give thanks for my team. Allah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 20, 2020 was looking really good for you uh, in the beginning because I, I remember you bagging one award at least. What were the plans for 2020 before this whole coronavirus? My plans was to, you know, you know, I did my dream album concert in Tamale and my plan was to tour with the, with the album. Okay. I mean the whole region, I mean the whole Ghana, I mean to the world. But this uh, pandemic has seized everything. I had to, you know, put a stop to it. You know, I just finished my my tour in Accra, the dream concert in Accra, the Bukum Square. And after that, we had the news, this virus, coronavirus, you know, shaking the world. So I had to put a stop. To everything that I was doing, so it was really bad for me. Mm. There are some of your colleagues who are locked up in Italy, in America, in the UK. Uh, where where do you find yourself? You are you in Tamale right now? Yes, I'm in Tamale. I'm in the north. Okay, well, I'm good for you. Know, you know. So how is how is the? Yeah, so I'm in Tamale mm -hmm. in the north, and I I, I basically based in house Tam so yeah. Okay, we're, apologies there. We're just having a little problem with the, with the internet this morning. Uh, so, Fancy, on coronavirus uh, in Tamil, do you move? Are you indoors or you move around? What's, what's, how is it like? Uh, we are indoors and we come out small, small because they do not ban us from coming out, but you just have to keep the distance from uh, people because you don't know where you might get the disease. And we always make sure we go with the nose covers, mm. make sure we distance ourselves from this virus. But we are, we are cool, we are, we are living normally now. Mm. Are you yeah. helping with the education? Because you know the concern now is uh, there are many people who are not taking coronavirus seriously and so they are not doing the right things. They are not washing the hands. They are not wearing the mask. They are not social distancing. What have you observed? Yeah. So when this thing came up, I, you know, I heard a lot of songs that is in English, and I, I, I realized a lot of people down here don't even understand the word Corona, and some people don't understand English. So mm. I took it to myself that I have to do a song to educate my people. That, that was the first thing that I did. I, edu I educated my, my people who don't understand English. I tell them in my local dialect as to how to keep themselves, make sure they wash their hands often, and then make sure they, they use the nose mask, make sure they, they distance themselves from the public because nobody knows where you could get the disease, you understand? So that was the first thing I did when I heard everything about the coronavirus. Mm. And then the hand sanitizers to I to my to make sure you get some. And later later I myself and my, my man then had to get a lot of sanitizers to 
share around okay. the village descent come mm -hmm. to Tamale. But I, I, I didn't publish it, but you know, because if you are a musician, any little thing you do, it will come out. Mm -hmm. But I did not bring it out on the, on the media, but my fan base has to, you know, keep talking about it. And, and right, right now it's on the media that I did that. I did that yeah. Good. Roland? Yeah. And, and I know that because of this, your schedule has uh, already been disrupted. You said that. How yeah. have you projected that perhaps post-COVID, you can be on track, organize shows that would also keep you in line with what your own shadows for the year will be? For now, no one knows where our, like, our business is heading to because at the day, that's where we survive. We survive on the organizing concerts, you understand? And then now we can't socialize with people we can't do any concert again. It is really affecting us because uh, some part of the world, uh, some some other artists can sell their music on, online. Mm. I'm not saying I don't have fans who can buy my my music online, but majority of my fans don't know much online. Mm -hmm. They can't stream to my music. You understand? So. It is very difficult for me to to earn much like if I could organize my own concert because that is where Fancy Garden and, uh, and some of the artists are benefiting because especially in the northern region. Mm. If you organize my if you organize your own concert in the northern region, you make money, people come and support you because it, it is not everybody that can stream your songs online. You understand? So it is really affecting me when it comes to that. Mm. Now, alternatively, uh, do you think there are other means that perhaps uh, the time has presented for you? You're indicating that in other countries or in better societies, you are able to do streaming. Perhaps your management and yourself can explore that. Yeah, we can do that, but you know, it's not a one day job. You understand? It's not a one day job to educate all the families. And then, Right now, we can't even socialize ourselves. How can we educate the fan base? You understand? Mm. We have been doing that previous years just to educate them, let them know that they need to stream our songs online. But it is not everybody that understands it. You understand? And so mm. that's what is affecting us. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we're getting a lot of comments here following this interaction. I have this one from um, Kwame Ose Mensa from Kumasi, and he says that. Um, how many songs were you planning on releasing during 2020? Yeah, so I just released my new album, that is the Dream Album. And the album is out now, it's online. If, if, if you have not heard a lot of songs from Fancy Bedham, you can check it online. Fancy Bedham Dreams Album, it is online, go ahead and get it. And besides that, I would have been releasing a lot of singles with videos. Mm -hmm. But because of the you know, social distancing, how to even shoot a new video is very difficult. Because uh, before Francis Gadam has a like, you know, brand new video or a quality video, I have to travel from Tamale to Accra or out of Ghana to get a better video. You understand? But this is all locked down. You can go out, out of Ghana to even record a nice video that you want to, mm. it is really affecting us, seriously. Mm. And this one is Mohamed Swalisu, and he says he lives in Tamale. He's asking, um, who are the individual Northern rich men who usually support you, and how <laughs> are you faring with their support now in this period? Uh, Northern rich men. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, a lot of people support me. It is not only the rich, even the poor support me. Everybody loves us together in the we do. So, uh, and you should know that Fancy Gardam has management. So whatever I'm doing with my career, it is my management that is supporting me financially. You understand? But for a fan who, who loves Fancy Gardam, they support me whenever, like in, with anything that I'm doing. If I have a concert, 
actually, you know, buying my songs online, mm. actually supporting me. They, they just love me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I have this one also. Um, Sanusi Daga. Sanusi Daga is uh, texting from San Irogo. He wants to know uh, how many African artists do you intend featuring after the coronavirus crisis? <laughs> yeah, so a lot of plans. I, I, I was even, uh, you know, we had uh, some co like dealings with Pateranting, and after Pateranting, Fancy Gadam and the team we would have uh, bring whiskey to Tamale, and you know, whenever I'm bringing somebody to Tamale, there would be a collaboration. You understand? And not only whiskey, I have plans in featuring Diamond, Davido, Shatawale, a lot of artists. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, interesting. I, I, I've also seen messages where people are addressing one Don. Is that your other name? People are saluting one yeah, Don. Yeah, you know, one Don. <laughs> <laughs> That's my other name. My family is me one Don. Okay. Simple means I am, I am one of a kind. That's the meaning of one Don. Mm. Okay. Mm. How, how is yeah. the, the, the Gadam Nation? I mean, how, how are you communicating with your fan base? Yeah, so we talk. You know, we are like family. Earlier on, I told you in our interview, I have so many WhatsApp groups. I have a lot of following on Facebook. I have a lot of following on uh, Instagram, Twitter. So always we, we interact. And a lot of them come into my DM, giving me messages on Inbox, yeah. mm. You know, people are so people are losing jobs. People are losing their their daily bread. I mean, there are very uh, ordinary persons who can afford to feed. Uh, what are some of the the issues that you've heard people raise, particularly because you command a whole nation uh, in terms of your Gadam nation? What are some of the issues that are coming up because of the COVID nineteen? Yeah, so I just heard. Uh, 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 a lot of people, they are losing their jobs just because things are moving slowly. Things are not normal like it used to be. And then uh, even, I, I strongly believe a lot of people from our side to my be losing votes. But if you don't earn something in what you are doing, you'll be frustrated, you know. Mm. So a lot of people are really missing their jobs. But we pray that Almighty Allah will, will take this virus away from us. Mm. Amen. That's why we are fasting, we are in the fasting month right now. Mm. We are all fasting, praying to Almighty Allah to save us from this dangerous disease, inshallah. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, this man wants to know, um, I think he says he's from Boku. And he said he wants to know what's your relationship with Makasio? Yeah, my relationship with Makasio, yeah. So Makasio is a, a brother who is also doing music in the London region. Okay. He's a rapper and I'm a singer. We are all brothers. He's from Zojeli. I'm from Zongo. We are all pushing the lot to the world. Roland, there's a question uh, from Stoneboy from Rock City. Can you please ask him whether he has a song about COVID-19 to educate his fans he, since he has the strongest fan base in the North? Yes, he has a song. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do, Fancy Gadam, because you have a song in your local dialect to educate mm -hmm. people about COVID-19. Mm -hmm. You're fasting, right? Yeah, I'm fasting, yeah. Okay, so just clear your throats. And, and and do the song for us. Because <laughs> I can't ask you to drink water. So just, just are you yeah, ready to do it? I know, right? So it goes like this. Coronavirus Zanza. Kato Zantaba. Virus Zanza. Kato Kumurutaba. Coronavirus Zanza. Kato Zantaba. Believe you soon, it's a song, Taba, eh, eh, I'm a Katakumu, Taba, from Sanitiza, doing your lad in the song, now, now we are, oh, my, Liza, 
Before Roland comes in, Abdul Rauf is reaching you from Takwa. He says, I really miss Fancy Gadam. Greetings to all uh, nation nationals. Hashtag one, do, uh, one don, hashtag Gadam Nation forever. I'm getting a lot of that, that, that one don. So big ups, everybody that's sending us a message and hashtagging it. One don. <laughs> Roland. Yeah. Big up, big up, and I know that this year is a political year. Ideally, you would have been composing songs, right? For the parties, going to their rallies, etc. Hey! You are missing out. Yeah. <laughs> I, won't, I won't compose any songs to any party. But I won't do that. But if they, if they come for me to perform, my work is to perform. And it's the, the same people. So when they come for me to perform, mm. I'll go collect. I'll go collect. <laughs> you go collect. I like that. I like that. Uh, there's a follow-up question yeah. when you mention the people that you're hoping to feature. Somebody says, uh, feature Whiskid. That's from uh, Zoology from Accra. Says, please tell Fancy to feature Whiskid on a song for us. Uh, but is there, are you talking to other people around this time? Is it giving you the opportunity to even create new music? I know you, you have an album that you are promoting. Are you working on new stuff? Yeah, so uh, I, I will even say it's an opportunity for us because we are not busy to go to shows, but you can't even go to the studio. So, but because of the Ramadan, we only get chance in the night. So after you break your fast and then you, you just drive into the studio, see what God gives you. Because uh, some of us, we don't have time to sit and write. You just go into the studio, whatever comes into your, into your head, and you throw it out. And it's out. So we are recording a lot of songs, hoping to see that uh, this whole thing will leave us and will come out and detain our family, inshallah. Fancy, here's a question that I will never, never would have asked you, but somebody's asking. Uh, Gabriel from Garu says, I want to know whether Gadam music clips, the ladies are from the north. Yes. Is there? So Gabriel is asking if, if all the ladies that he sees in your music clips are from the north. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not all of them. It's not all of them because sometimes I, I, I shot some in, in London, you know, some in uh, Dubai, in Nigeria, some in Ghana. So, you know, they are all Ghana nationals, not, not, not in the north. The Ghana nation is, is worldwide. But not every, every girl who is in my video is from the northern region. Mm. Okay. All right. But some of them are in the northern region. Yeah. Okay, we've yeah. got to wrap up. Roland, have we got more questions for him? No, oh, no. Uh, he, he should just continue doing good music. I, I love him as always. So. Okay, Fancy, I have one question. What do you miss most? Uh, be, what, what do you miss that you're not able to do, obviously, because of coronavirus? Yeah, so I miss, you know, me being on stage. And my fans is fully, is like, it's fully packed in the stadium. 
if you miss small in the middle, that's what I miss. I miss it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Fan Siganam, you know, it's always fun talking to you. I love your music. I'm a big supporter. Uh, so big wow. ups to you. Uh, but keep spreading the message, okay? Because we need guys like you to keep sending the message on coronavirus mm. and how people should do mm. the right thing. Inshallah. Thank you so much. I will, I will, I will do that. And big up to my fan base who always live in Fan Siganam. Uh, after this Ramadan, I have one song for you guys entitled Fancy Oh, yeah, nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fancy with a song called Fancy Gada. You hey. should. Okay, and after that, you do one with the AM show, but that one we'll talk about it. Fancy, thank no you. No problem. Thank you so much. One so done. Much. One done. Yeah. One done. One done. <laughs> one done. Yeah, one done. Well, I know one person who has been watching us, and um, Oscar Mensah, you work with Multi Choice. You say you also love Fancy Gadam. Mm. And my nose marks as well. Good one. Okay, I've got a very special dedication, Roland. It's a happy 70th birthday to Reverend Joseph Akwesi Amano Amate. It's your birthday today, Reverend. It's from your wife, Mama Esther, your children, Sandra and John Tay in South Africa, Samson, Richard, Peter, Edmond, Victor, and all your grandchildren. And the message is, we love you, Daddy, and may God richly bless you. May you live to see your great-grandchildren. We will celebrate after COVID-19. Stay blessed, Daddy. So it's a happy 70th to you, Reverend Joseph Kwesi Amano Amate. Enjoy your birthday today, Reverend. Well, we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll bring you all the latest when it comes to showbiz. Remember, we have that live interaction. We'll take you to the Ministry of Information um, conference room. We'll bring you all the latest when it comes to Ghana's efforts at managing the coronavirus pandemic. Stay with us.